We are the people, we are a movement, we are a voice, we are staying together, we are marching together, we are working together, we are demanding together, we are achieving together and we will never ever go away! My country, my homeland, Palestine, has become the graveyard for universal human rights principles. So we come here again today to stand up for humanity and send a clear message to this incoming government, not in our name. It doesn't matter if it's Tories or Labour in number 10. It doesn't matter if the sun shines or the rain pours. We're not going anywhere. On July 6th, more than 100,000 people hit the streets of London, United Kingdom in solidarity with the people of Palestine. The National March for Palestine, organized by the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, Stop the War Coalition, among others, was supported by trade unions including the RMT and Unison. The demonstrators demanded the newly elected Labour government under Keir Starmer take action to end the genocide. Is it right that this country should facilitate the supply of weapons through the RAF base of Akrotiri into Israel? Is it right that we should be supplying the bombs that are destroying the homes, that are destroying the aid that goes into Gaza? This is a moral question. The morality has to be challenged. Is the morality to kowtow to the arms industry and the arms companies that make the planes supply the bombs, guide the weapons, and indeed those computer systems that guide those weapons to destroy life? Or is the morality to stand up, stand up against those powerful vested interests and say, not in our name is this done? And so, this is the message we're giving today to the new government, listen to the results on Thursday, listen to the voices of ordinary people, ordinary people, be they Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Hindu, Buddhist or of no faith, listen to some of the ordinary people in Israel, listen to the people in Palestine, listen to the people all over the region and indeed Listen to the students all over the world who occupy their universities. <laughs> On which side of history do you wish to place yourselves? On the side of those that bombed, destroyed and killed life? Or, or do you want to be on the side of those that stood up for peace, for justice and for hope? by ending the occupation of both Gaza and the West Bank and bring you about justice for the Palestinian refugees all around the world. Keir Starmer claims that my former boss, Nelson Mandela, is his political hero. Well, let us remind Keir Starmer what Nelson Mandela said. First of all, he said, Israeli apartheid is even worse and more brutal than apartheid was in South Africa. In addition, he said, Israel was apartheid South Africa's closest ally and I will always be the, en the, the enemy of the friends of my enemy like Israel. most importantly, most importantly of course, Keir Starmer must be reminded that when Nelson Mandela emerged from 27 years in an apartheid prison, what he said was, our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinian people. There is a new government here in the UK. There are fresh faces in charge. And there is a new Prime Minister who is promising that change begins now. But friends, 
If there is a new day here in the UK, in Gaza, the sun still rises and sets in shades of blood. In the West Bank and Jerusalem, Israeli impunity still rules. It still rules. As this pariah state steals more land, kills more people, and continues to abduct and abuse men, women, and children without restraint. We haven't been marching just because there's been a rotten Tory government in power in this country. We've been marching because the actions of the British state are in contempt of the people of this country, are an offence against humanity, and are colluding in a genocide which is continuing. No more complicity! No more weapons sent to kill and maim. We demand an immediate ceasefire and the restoration of UNRWA funding. Not only this, the, the ongoing oppression and dispossession of the Palestinian people must end. The illegal settlements program must end. The forced evictions must end. The illegal occupation must end. And yes, there must be, there has to be unconditional and immediate recognition of the state of Palestine. They tried to stop us, to silence us. They tried originally to tell us that we cannot raise the flag of the Palestinian people and so we waved it higher. They tried to tell us what we could and could not chant and so the freedom cries grew louder. And they told us just this week that we cannot have a rally outside Parliament.